we're currently limited by our biology in terms of the the wavelength that we can see. There's a very very small wavelength that is a visible um, light wavelength that we can see with our eyes. But when you have an external camera with this um, BCI system, you're not limited to that. You can have infrared, you can have UV, you can have whatever other spectrum that you want to see. And whether that gets mapped to some sort of weird conscious experience, I have no idea. But when I, you know, I'm oftentimes I talk to people about the goal of Neuralink being going beyond the limits of our biology. Um, that's sort of what I mean. And if you're able to control the kind of raw signal, is that when we use our sight, we're getting the photons and there's not much processing on it. If you're be able to control that signal, maybe you can do some kind of processing. Maybe you do object detection ahead of time. Yeah. You're doing some kind of pre-processing and there's a lot of possibilities to explore that. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a, in, increasing sort of thermal imaging, that kind of stuff, but it's also just doing some kind of interesting processing. Correct. Yeah. I, I mean, my, my theory of how like visual system works also is that, um, I, I mean, th there's just so many things happening in the world and there's a lot of photons that are going into your eye and it, it's unclear exactly where some of the pre-processing -pro steps are happening, but I mean, I actually think that just just from a fundamental perspective, there's just so much, uh, it, the reality that we're in, if it's a reality, um, is so there's so much data. And I think humans are just unable to actually like eat enough actually to process all that information. So there's some sort of filtering that does happen, whether that happens in the retina, whether that happens in different layers of the visual cortex, un unclear, but, like the analogy that I sometimes think about is, you know, if uh, if your brain is a CCD camera, and the inf all of the information in the world is a sun, um, and when you try to actually look at the sun with the CCD camera, it's just going to saturate the sensors, right? Because it's an enormous amount of energy. So what you what you do is you end up adding these uh, filters, right, to just kind of narrow the information that's coming to you and being captured. And I think, you know things like our experiences or our, um, uh, you know, like drugs, like Profofol, that like anesthetic drug or, you know, psychedelics, mm -hmm. what they're doing is they're kind of swapping out these filters and putting in new ones or removing older ones and kind of controlling our conscious experience. Yeah, man, not to distract from the topic, but I just took a very high dose of ayahuasca in the Amazon jungle, so yes. It's a nice way to think about it. You're swapping out different <laughs> different experiences and with Neuralink being able to control that, uh, primarily at first to improve function, not for entertainment purposes or enjoyment purposes, but. Yeah, giving back lost functions. Well, giving back lost functions. And there, That's especially the when, the, yeah. when the function is completely lost, mm -hmm. anything is a huge help.